seldom do you have an opportunity to talk to someone on a conversation on this podcast and uh, when I had this chance to speak with Moses I hijacked him he just came to see me for a few minutes but having my conversation gear I decided let's just do this Moses Osheng is a passionate trained and experienced UN SDG advocate he is a graduate in information technology from Makerere University Kampala Uganda a trained and certified professional manager and administrator from Heroes Nation Nigeria and a certified change agent from the Moji Global Leadership School. He has worked with various organizations in the past 10 years offering hands-on skills and expert advice in areas such as communication, leadership and purposeful living towards national significance. Moses is currently a humanitarian alongside which he continues with SCD advocacy in Uganda. He is a new author of a book Strength of a Warrior. We had a conversation about resilience. You really want to listen to this. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome to once again Live Signatures. Today I'm having a conversation with uh, a warrior. What do you call yourself, a warrior, Moses? Um, I call myself a warrior because I have lived a life of uh, fighting, getting down, rising up, life of resilience, basically. Right, and uh, this is Wednesday's conversation on life signatures, and I have a privilege of uh, just hijacking you. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I know we didn't plan to do this, but I thought, you know, you are in town today, this week, and probably you're going back to the north, sure. and we might not have another opportunity to discuss. So let's just see how this discussion is going to be like. And I know I've already given people a background of uh, your information in the introduction. So we're just going to delve into it. You said you have been living a life of being down and rising up all the time. Sure. How did this come about? Is this something you want? Um, um, this is not something that uh, one wakes up and decides that, okay, I'm going to be a fighter. No, it, it's, it's something that mostly comes out of the ignorance of uh, the people who father, who parent us, our mm. parents. Um, maybe there was not enough information that went out there mm. to teach them about the consequences mm. of uh, certain kind of people mm. or s- certain kind of people with certain genes mm. getting married, coming together and mm. bearing children. So there's nothing wrong you did, you just appeared I, I, no. as yeah. a result of your mom and your dad yeah, coming together. Like, exactly. And so you ended up with the, the condition that you're having. Sure. I, let's explain to the listeners what, what, what this condition is. Well, um, is it a disease or is it a condition? I wouldn't. I I don't normally call it a, a disease, mm. um, though people define it as a disease. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's it's what people call sickle cell disease or SCD. SCD. Y- you'll find them referring to those abbreviations a lot. Yeah. But. Uh, I, I I call it a condition. Yeah. I, I call it a condition because it's just it's just a mutation of of uh, 
of your cells. Yeah. Mm. So let, let us go. <clears throat> I know it can be a bit scientific here, but let us go deep into it and just derive it for the the listeners out there. You know, one of the things that we realize is that there is a minimal awareness sure. about SCD. Mm-hmm. You, you've come across that, isn't it? Sure. People do not know this. Uh, people are so keen to check themselves for HIV and other things before they get married, mm-hmm. but seldom do they do a check for propensity of getting sickle cell, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So how does sickle cell come about? Um, so um, sickle cell is uh, just a mutation of the red blood cells. Yeah. So um, I, I wouldn't want to get scientific, but uh, yeah. it, it, it might be inevitable. We'll just yeah. dive in there a little yeah. bit. Yeah. So um, many people did... Uh, uh, biology and then there was uh, there, there were these uh, matching genes mm. in biology where we had the XX and the YY mm. um, that if these chromosomes and uh, are they called chromosomes? It's something like that. Yeah, I, I don't remember them quite well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, it it was basically um, that when this matches with this, you're going to have a girl, you're going to have a boy. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, when you come to SCD, now we're having uh, genes, we're having uh, the normal gene, yeah. the fully normal gene, which uh, the medics refer to as AA. AA. Yes. And then we're having the abnormal, which are referred to as SS. SS. Mutated. Those are all mutated. Yeah. Uh, that means you're going to get, if you, you are SS, that means you get an S gene from your mother mm. and an S gene from your father. So SS are the guys who have a sickle cell. Exactly. All right, and uh, <clears throat> it can't happen unless there is a mixture of genes exactly from two types of people. Exactly, right? It it can't happen because you sat near me. Yeah. It will not happen because we shared or you uh, coughed and, and exactly. <laughs> yeah, mm. it doesn't. It's not sexually transmitted. No. as in uh, uh, the the baby who is born out of a relationship mm-hmm. of two people mm-hmm. who have certain genes, genes who have a mutated yeah gene. yeah mm-hmm. that's what results into a sickle cell disease sure so it's possible for someone to live with a trait yeah. of sickle cell but they don't suffer the consequences of sickle cell sure yesterday then, uh-huh. yesterday i met uh, a friend mm-hmm. um who bought a book i i have a book here yeah. strength of a warrior yeah um living courageously with sickle cell mm-hmm. so i met a friend and uh I had to sit down and explain to them what the book is about yeah and uh so i was telling them about uh, uh those who are aa and like she was like like me mm. like okay that is correct but you have not tested, so you can't be sure. Mm. Um, just because you have not seen anyone suffer from the disease yeah. in the family yeah. doesn't mean it's not there. there is no possibility of having a trait in the family. Yeah. Because once you bear a trait, yeah. you could be the unlucky one who carries a trait. Yeah. And then you come across another unlucky yeah. guy or lady who carries a trait. Yeah. Um, you having a relationship and mm. bearing a child... Mm would maybe be the unlucky moment of producing another mm. unlucky baby in mm. this world mm. who is SS, mm. who is SCD, who has sickle cell disease. Mm. Mm. So two people coming together with a trait. So it's silent. It's silent. It's it's, it's not pronounced. Exactly. You cannot know by just... People don't get sick because they have the trait, no. right? They no. don't have the effects of having a trait. No, 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 no. So it's, they're carrying it and they have no idea. They will know the day they get married to someone who has a, a, a matching trait. trait. Yes. And now the, the product of their relationship becomes a baby. Will be the informing... Uh-huh. So result. now, now the baby comes up, and <laughs> you've gone through quite a bit because of lack of knowledge sure. in the community. Uh, yeah. People think it's witchcraft. Mm-hmm. People think it's uh, your mother did something, or maybe uh, I'm, I'm told for the most part, it's the mothers who are vilified, right? Sure. Um, I have had issues, especially with uh, with the Christians. Yeah. Um, Christians have this belief that. Uh, 
I think that's what I would call is it hyper faith super spirituality super spirituality yeah. so one person I one time posted I one time posted uh, I was I was holding a sickle cell awareness campaign online yeah. on the world sickle cell day that was last year yeah. and then one person told me why are you posting this here it is not even scripture it is not biblical <laughs> and all that yeah. I, and I, I bother to explain you you need this information yeah. you need this information somewhere because you never know what will happen tomorrow you don't know who you are going to meet yeah you get it 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 we we should come out of that place where where we proclaim that love is blind yeah it is very sad but it is true that in Uganda alone we have over 30,000 babies yeah. born with sickle cell disease every, every year. year that is a, an increase of 30,000 people preventable 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 as in that is 1% of our population My every goodness. year born with sickle cell disease so if we don't do enlightenment if we don't reach out to the people there if no one gets to know the truth yeah yeah if no one gets to know the truth in 10 years time we'll be like nigeria where we have over 1 babies born with sickle cell disease every, every year. year you get it it's it's becoming it's becoming an an increased uh In Nigeria it's it's getting out of hand. It's so getting out of hand. Yeah. And why is it getting out out of hand? It's because people have not labored hard enough to make the information reach out there. Um while I was giving the book to the lady I just mentioned earlier. Yeah. Um I told them you see scripture says that in the days of ignorance yeah. the Lord winked mm-hmm. but now he commands all men to repent. Mm-hmm. You get it? Mm-hmm. And then and then I told them you see this book is not it may not just be a book mm. like you say mm. but uh like the proverb says that knowledge wisdom stands on the streets mm. and, and calls, calls out for people those calls ones for who attention. do not have knowledge come and get some exactly yeah. now this book is something that we put out there mm. um i realize that even what the the class of people that we call the literate mm. are the ones who are most ignorant mm. about this mm. condition mm even medics sadly. even medics sadly. sadly so so there are two groups of people there they are they are christians and i'm going to delve there <coughs> because oh, i i see a lot of uh, super spirituality really leading people astray sure the idea that uh, for example let me just use a totally different example uh, that is uh, not related to sickle cell mm. you find for example a christian not taking insurance let's say health insurance even if they have the capacity to mm-hmm, do that mm-hmm. their reasoning is that health insurance uh super s- s- imposes the idea that you're going to fall sick and it's not God's sick. will for you to be sick so they don't take the insurance sure. that that is super spirituality mm-hmm. the same thing with when you're talking about uh the the guy who say that uh, it's not biblical for you to talk about a, a disease and to warn people about a disease mm-hmm. the idea here is that for you as moses you are a christian yeah right i am a christian you being a christian and you carrying the ss genes mm-hmm. doesn't um mean that you be reckless in your christianity true and you go and you get a woman mm-hmm. who has the same trait mm-hmm. and then your babies have that condition does yeah. that is, is that communicating sure sure yeah mm-hmm. so you 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 use the information the knowledge that you have to protect the babies that are going to come after you and sure. let's just go there for a minute because i know you've had a heartbreak because of the same mm-hmm. someone uh, got out of your life because of uh, you having sickle cell sure right but is it like a, a sentence does it mean every baby you're going to have when you get married is going to have sickle cell um it doesn't mean every baby you're going to have is going to have sickle cell yeah um in what we're talking about is uh, a game of about 25% yeah. chance yeah so if you are as you carry a gene of sickler yeah then another guy yeah carries the same gene your counterpart yeah. your counterpart carries same gene yeah so there every child that you bear yeah there is a 25% chance yeah. of you having a child yeah. who is sick I can see the, the 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 table here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On page four of this uh, strength of a warrior, mm. there is the combination, and yes. then there's verdict. Mm. 
right? Yes, yeah. So a combination of AA, uh, the verdict is marry any other combination. As in someone with AA can marry any other any person. Other. They can marry a person who is AA, they can marry a person who is AS. Yeah. And they, there is no going if, to be if, if they're seven. strong hearted enough, they yeah. can also marry someone who is SS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. But, but it, all this information, if people go to clinics, it's less than 30,000 shillings, isn't it? To be able to, to it's, test it's, their. It's about, uh, the last time I checked, uh, there's a, there's a facility in Kampala mm. that charges about 40,000 shillings. 40,000. And you can know your status. Yeah. I, I asked at, um, uh, I asked at a Mary Stops clinic and mm. they told me something about 30,000. Yeah. So it varies. It's, it's but that's expensive. the range. It's not that expensive. It's but you do it expensive. once and for all. Once and for all. And you know your status. Mm-hmm. So a person with an AA status can marry any other combination. Sure. Now, a person with AS, they are better off marrying a person with AA. Sure. Right? Mm-hmm. Because if they marry someone else with AS, there is a risk. Yes, yes. There's a risk of yeah having someone who is yeah. SS. So AS, it's risky with another AS. Sure. They shouldn't look for, uh, they shouldn't be in a relationship, even if you love them to death and so on. Yeah. Look at the baby that you're going to be, be, give birth to, and we're going to go back uh, to, to the conditions that you guys go through, mm-hmm. w- what you call a crisis. Mm-hmm. And that's why re- we're talking about resilience. So there's another one with SC. SC also have a risk of marrying an AS. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. And then SC also, uh, um, SS now, mm-hmm. they need to avoid marrying a fellow SS. Like now you are SS. Yes. The only person you can marry is, is an AA. AA. Yeah. Right? It's mm-hmm. better you marry an AA. Actually, that is one part that I've learned in my life. Like, if I give out my heart, Mm. To someone out there, <laughs> I, I might want to find out. <laughs> you find out it. first of all where are they before I get a this. mega heartbreak. <laughs> exactly. You see, now that's the information you have. That's the knowledge that you do have. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Otherwise, uh, people can have a, a big, big heartbreak. This, this a story of a lady who who had HIV and uh, she married a guy. A guy, a guy knew that she had HIV, but went ahead and married her. Mm-hmm. Uh, that one is is a given. But this one is different because. You're going to give birth to a baby with sickle cell. Exactly. If you don't do these combinations mm-hmm. properly. Yeah. So someone with SS, avoid a fellow SS. Yeah. And uh, LS. Yes. Or SC. Yes. So these ones are definite. If you if an SS marries an SS or an AS or an AC, it's definitely going to be a, a case of a sickle cell. The baby is going to be sickle cell. Sure. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, as you're listening to this, you can get this book from Moses. He's going to give us his contact later on. And you can read as much as you can about sickle cell disease, mm-hmm. especially those of you, even those ones who are married. Because we've seen in situations where there are parents who have the traits. Yeah. The first born doesn't have sickle cell. The mm-hmm. second born, like your that, case. Yes. Your case, you're the... I am... Um, we, we are... My mom and dad, there are four children. Yeah. I am number four. Yeah. Um, number one, two, three, they're okay. They're okay. They don't have the trait. They don't have the, the, the sickle cell disease. They don't have the sickle cell disease. Uh, one has a trait. Yeah. Um, but then it ended lo- up on it you. It ended up on me. Yeah. You're the one with it. Yeah. So even those guys who are already married and you want to get another child, mm-hmm. right? We, we would advise that you go and, uh, and, and, and check. And do a check. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. th- that's what I want us to talk about now. Because the, the, the pain of sickle cell what you guys call a crisis mm-hmm. it's excruciating very at some point in time do you feel like you want to give up with life several times several times several times the pain is unbearable yes but it takes it takes a resilient heart it takes it takes a warrior's heart mm. uh, that's why you named this book the strength of the strength a warrior. of a warrior basically fighting or living with sickle cell you, you've got to war you, yeah. you're going to war nearly every single month exactly right? every single day you you go to bed you feel okay yeah. you wake up in the middle of the night you feel pain yeah and uh well you have to convince yourself that i'm going to get out of this bed well yeah even sometimes when you don't have a pain reliever yeah. in the house yeah but you tell yourself i have to get out of this bed yeah well yeah if for the, for any reason i will go and look for medication yeah when day breaks yeah <laughs> wow wow so 
let's talk about some of the things that you've really gone through as a child they did not know it was sickle cell did they know as as a child um that information was lacking in the community mm. i was raised in in the community i was living in the information was lacking mm. but then it came on later but before all this before getting to the knowledge that mm. it is sickle cell mm. lots of things happened uh, um accusations here and there yeah. they accuse you brought for us a yeah. disease from your family yeah they're and, accusing your mom uh, and that really happens on the on the on the women women side yeah i mean any woman who has a child who is ss mm. they have a story to tell mm. of the accusation mm. um a friend of mine told me a very sad story mm. um i met this lady at university mm. and then i came in touch with them again like mm. after 10 years mm. and then they told me you know what i gave birth to a child who is ss mm. but it was a bad experience mm. uh, at one point the man went and got another woman mm. and even the woman that he got called me and said hey i am so and so mm. i'm the one going to produce no more children for for this guy for your guy yeah that is heartbreaking yeah it's heartbreaking it's lack of information mm. basically it's lack of knowledge uh, where people thought in your case for example they were blaming mom Mm-hmm. for coming and th- th- it's society isn't it yeah that's society it's basically society especially in our african setting yeah mm-hmm. it's easy when a child is born maybe with a deformity or something for you it was, you are crying a lot yeah. right mm-hmm. you're crying and so and they didn't know what was what was the problem mm-hmm. right and and so at what point in time did they re- realize that wait a minute this is not witchcraft this is not uh, you know your mother's problem this is a combination of genes at what point in time did uh, your family get the information i think it was uh, after about 3 uh, or 4 years yeah you were 3 years old about 3 or 4 years there yeah when uh, my parents managed to bring me to mulago hospital yeah the you, main you, national you, you grew up in the north right yep. you were born in the north yeah born in the uh, north exactly where at the shores of lekwania doklo district doklo yep yeah so in dokolo you can imagine mm-hmm. the the kind of information we're discussing here could not have been could there could not have been there yeah so they they did not even know what was going on they decided to take a chance go to mulago mm-hmm. travel how many kilometers 300 kilometers to, to over kampala 300. over 300 kilometers mm-hmm. to kampala yeah that's when they got the information right mm-hmm. so uh from that moment on they they are they were now prepared to to handle your case properly yeah um you see when you get knowledge when you lay hands on information mm. the other challenge would be okay now this is what is happening mm. how do we handle it yeah we start grappling how do we handle this yeah it's not happening like this yeah this is not happening how do we handle it yeah so it takes also um experience yeah to know what to do when what happens sometimes it's too much to take because uh, when you're given information i'm just using an example when someone gives you information you have hiv for example mm-hmm. it takes too much you know to process sure so sickle cell is the same thing mm-hmm. it needs commitment mm-hmm. it's like you've been sentenced to hospitals nearly every now and then sure and it does cost money right it does it does cost a lot one time i was calculating and uh, i found out that uh, for a child to recover from a crisis mm. in a normal very moderate priced facility mm. uh, for about two days mm. it costs not less than a hundred dollars now hundred dollars in ugandan shillings is a mm. lot of money mm. that's a over 300,000 so about 300,000 Uganda shillings you get it yeah. so if the as what people pay for school fees for a term exactly in some places school fees for a term it's somebody's salary out there yeah, yeah, yeah. so just imagine now that's two days you've taken that's two days facility yeah and well, it's not the last one it's not the last one we don't know what to, what's going to happen next week yeah um at one time i was in school i would i would come i would go to school report to school in a boarding section yeah. two weeks i'll be home yeah it affected your schooling isn't it a lot it mm. does it does affect and you're a sharp guy uh, i mean you look like you're very intelligent and 
the way you communicate, the way the book you've written and so on. There is a lot of intelligence in you. Oh, thanks. But, but, but the, the, the disease, in, it's one of the side effects of the disease is it interrupts your normal life. Yeah, it interrupts the normal life. I was talking to someone else who has the same condition and they say that you have to look at yourself as if you are a different person. Mm-hmm. You are not like the average child. Exactly. You are exceptional. Mm-hmm. A lot is required <clears throat> of you as compared to the normal guy. Sure. So the way you approach life is totally different. That's why you, you've you got to be a warrior. Exactly. I think I love this title of, of, of your book. Thank you've you. You've got to be a warrior mm-hmm. as a, a person with a sickle cell disease. Mm-hmm. You have to have that mentality. You have to put on that mentality on a daily basis otherwise it's not it's not easy yeah one 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 guy sang a song and titled it a soldier's heart yeah you remember it yeah um it was it it, it was a song that me when i listen to it, yeah. it i would always get excited yeah um other people were just listening to a normal song yeah me i was listening to my life yeah it makes uh, sense to it you stood on the f- it says you stood on the front line you made a way it only takes a soldier's heart yeah to achieve that yeah so um to 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 live to live the kind of life yeah to live the kind of life that mm. we lead mm. it takes a soldier's heart it takes a warrior's mm. heart mm. that's why the book is strength of a warrior mm. where do you and and this book uh, surprisingly is not is not a pity book yeah it's not a pity book. It's it, not, you're not looking for sympathy no, and, and stuff like that. No, I'm not that. looking for sympathy and I'm not sympathizing with anyone. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm not sympathizing with anyone going through mm-hmm. the same condition. Mm. But I just want to show them, mm. like, hey, you can come out of this strong. Mm. Like, every day of your life, mm. you can lead it very strong, very courageously. Mm. Now, your parents come to Mulago. Mm-hmm. They realize that... The, the the Mulago people communicate to them exactly what the situation is, mm-hmm. isn't it? Yeah. At least it's a it's a it's a step. It's a step ahead. Yeah, that's it? a step because knowledge, now they know knowledge what they're is dealing with. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, previously, they did not know what they were dealing with. Mm-hmm. It can be very frustrating when you have a condition and you have no idea what it is and how you 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 you're going to handle. Mm-hmm. So what did, what happened after that? After you guys realized that. This, they realize that this baby has sickle cell disease. Mm-hmm. What happened? So uh, then you need to take precautions. Yeah, you, you need to you talk to the doctor. Like, okay, um, now that it's like this, mm-hmm. what do we do about it? Mm. The, the, the the doctors they, they they advise your parents on on the things that they're supposed to. Yeah, do. several. Um, yeah. I think my dad started talking with a lot of people. Yeah. Um, some who are going through the same yeah. condition. Yeah. People who know about the condition. Yeah. So. He started seeking out for information, for yeah. knowledge yeah. about it, and I, I think that one also helped me yeah. a lot. Yeah. Um, in in the book I mentioned one point that through his seeking knowledge, mm. he also taught me to learn my body mm. and learn how the body responds mm. to different environments. Mm. Because um, I will tell you something: mm. you are a normal person, mm. okay, but when you're about to get a fever mm. your body will respond a certain way to send some signals it will send some signals yeah so i i, I had to learn my body yeah I, I had to learn that okay when this comes like this it's going to be a crisis and i, ha- I had to know what kind of signal shows that the crisis is going to be of a higher magnitude yeah what what signal shows that the crisis is going to be of a lesser magnitude that yeah. I can handle from home. Yeah. Which one shows that I need to get to a medical facility immediately? Immediately. So you you become alert. You become alert. You 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 know. Uh, you prepare yourself basically. You're always prepared, like a warrior. You know what warriors normally do. Sure. Uh, like guys who are in the intelligence mm-hmm. and guys who are in the military and all, they're always alert because alert. the. The enemy can strike from, from any, any angle, angle yeah. and they've got to be always prepared. Mm-hmm. You don't find them in a beach, you know, uh, taking, uh, you know, and so. But they are always alert. That's yeah. that's one form of resilience, isn't mm-hmm. it? Mm-hmm. You agree and acknowledge the fact that I'm going through this. Yeah, already have the information and so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. But this is how I'm supposed to respond whenever this 
and this <coughs> and this and this happened this is how I'm, I'm supposed to respond True. you have that psyche inside of you mm-hmm. the pity doesn't help pity doesn't help pity yeah? destroys mm. um i always tell people if you're around me to pity me just get out yeah i, I need people who are going to cheer me up yeah like even when i'm in that hard pain yeah i need someone who is going to tell me hey it's just a matter of time we're going to get out of here yeah we're going to get on the road again we're going yeah. to hit the road again i always yeah. I always say like i've hit the road again yeah mm? yeah yeah wow uh, have you like been in situations where people have not understood your condition and uh, they have really thrown you under the bus or something like that and maybe said things that hurt you or cut relationships with you yeah i i have been in such situations mm. before um but one thing that i always focus my attention on mm. I always focus my attention on the things that keep my heart so pure yeah because that's so, one thing that i have learned mental game mental game yeah so you trash me out there mm-hmm. i will not focus on you 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 are minor at yeah. that point you become minor to me yeah i focus my attention on something yeah of greater value wow you switch attention from what demeans you exactly to something of what increases your increases value. my value wow awesome stuff and part of a part of the book um i talk about the heart yeah um well and there are things like medicine yeah there are things like food yeah. and all that mm-hmm. but when i am talking to people I always tell them what comes first in your health mm-hmm. is your heart. Yeah. Is your heart. Yeah. I always tell people a small story. Um back in the day I was still at university about over 10 years ago. Yeah. And then I woke up in the middle of the night about 3 a.m. I don't know what woke me up. Mm-hmm. I sat at the edge of my bed and I had a voice, "Guard your heart." Mm-hmm. I didn't know the meaning. I was just sure I had a voice mm. someone just spoke to me mm. in the middle of the night mm. got your heart mm-hmm. so um that very day i had this friend who was uh, lecturing me at university but we became so close mm. um so he passes by my hostel room and then i ask him um what does it mean if someone mm. tells you got your heart mm-hmm. uh he responded in a very loose way like because out of it comes the issues of life yeah now i had never read that in the bible yeah. or anywhere I'd never had it anywhere yeah not even a single line yeah not even my sunday school yeah so but it was making sense it was making a lot of sense like w- w- when when he said because out of it comes the issues of life yeah it just resonated with what was on the in- with the voice that i had the previous night yeah so i never understood this but it kept resounding in my mind yeah every day every week every yeah. month every yeah. year yeah. until after about 3 or 4 years mm. i was reading my bible in the house alone mm. i had even graduated from university i was no longer in university mm. so i was home and then i was reading uh i sat on my brother's reading table mm. and uh i read a part in the bible in proverbs mm. that says guard your heart with mm. all diligence mm. because out of it mm. flows the issues of life mm. i was so excited mm. I like okay so this guy who spoke to me that night yeah who was he yeah <laughs> it must have been the voice of god yeah and uh, well i kept on learning every passing year i would learn something i would learn something new yeah. and then i realized you see out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks right now what comes in your heart does not come from anywhere else anywhere else yeah Jesus says that it is not what enters a man that defiles him yeah. but what comes out of a man. Yeah. You see when you listen to things and you let them weigh you down yeah. it settles in your heart yeah. and then you start rem- re- meditating, meditating on them. Meditating on those things. You start meditating on them before you know it it will be coming out of you. Yeah. It becomes part and parcel of who e- exactly. you are. Exactly. Before you know it it will start weakening you. Mm. Before you know it you will be so vulnerable. Mm. So their heart becomes the central point of resilience. The whole world basically rotates 
around, around the, heart. the heart. Right. Everything that you see, every structure that you see built, it came from somebody's heart. So it doesn't matter whether you are going through sickle cell disease, a relationship break, business uh, is going down and all that stuff. The center of whole or, or, or of health mm-hmm. is the heart. Exactly. Right. Exactly. You see, even if you're going through a cancer, mm. yeah, mm. the fastest way that people who have HIV and cancer die mm. is when they come to the knowledge like, okay, I have the thing. Mm. Someone can live with AIDS in their body for 20 years. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. When they don't know. And then the moment and they okay. know. The moment the doctor breaks the news like, you are positive, you have a plus in your blood. Yeah. It will disorganize their entire body system. Yeah. And their life will start deteriorating, deteriorating from at that the fastest on. speed wow, there wow, is. Wow, 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 wow. So you find the guy who was okay without the knowledge. Mm-hmm. When the knowledge comes in, they now disintegrate. Exactly. Because their heart is not guarded or their heart is not fed. Exactly. At, at the point when someone comes to a crisis, and I'm talking about crisis, not the crisis in sickle cell, mm-hmm. but any kind of a crisis, any, any kind, kind of, of crisis. a setback, yeah. your advice will be the heart. Mm-hmm. Deal with the heart. Deal with the heart. First, right? Mm-hmm. And then after the heart, you can now deal with the other things. Exactly. Because when the heart is not in place, mm-hmm. when the heart is not, quote unquote, healthy, then dealing, being a warrior, Mm. becomes a difficult thing. Sure. You cannot be a warrior with a wounded uh, heart, a, a, a heart that is not healed and so on and so forth. Yeah. Wow. That's something that I've, I've really learned from you today. And thank you for that. So, let's talk about the crisis itself. Mm. I don't know. I don't know if you can able to describe to us the pain that uh, a sickler Mm. And you don't want to use the word sickler. The pain that a, a warrior, warrior yeah. goes through mm. when they are going through a, a crisis in sickle cell. Mm. You know, uh, 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 can you describe? Is, is there a way of putting it into context? Into so I, we can understand. I, I wish I wish I could describe it. Yeah. Um, one time I remember I was oh. I was in a very terrible pain. Mm. My arm was hurting mm. so badly mm. I turned to my dad he was seated beside the bed I was laying on and I asked him mm. is it possible to just cut, cut off this, this arm, arm? and I saw him tearing yeah like I think when I mentioned that yeah it woke him up to the magnitude of the pain I was going through yeah I mean, there's that pain that you get through and you're like, I yeah. really no longer care about this arm. Yeah. If cutting it off will take away the pain that I'm going through. Yeah. Let it go. Yeah. Let it go. Wow. So, it, so, so, so the, 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 the pain is so much so that you don't care about having an arm. Exactly. You, you don't care that your arm will help you out later. All you care about is getting out of the pain yeah it's so terrible and it's not the arm alone it's not the arm alone uh, i mean another time any place can hurt you any place yeah so you you cannot know what place is going to be attacked so exactly to speak. it comes from uh so the the, the, the arm pain was the the, the worst you, you suffered it wasn't really the worst uh a few years ago, a couple of years, I think about two years ago, yeah, um, I had a crisis that uh, I had not experienced so strong like that. Mm. Uh, it's what they call uh, it's what they call the acute chest syndrome. Yeah, it's one of the most scary. SES. Exactly, mm. it's one of the most scary, mm. and uh, I couldn't hold myself. I couldn't breathe by myself. Mm. I needed to. To have something to enhance on my mm. breathing, mm. need to have a, the, the, the moving of the chest is painful. Very painful. I mean, yeah. every time you try to breathe alone, mm. a tear just drops. Mm. Yeah, and at that time for me, what what mattered most was 
was nothing but staying alive the next second yeah uh, everyone around me had lost hope um but two years ago was very many years yeah after that experience. the person who woke me up yeah and told me to guard my heart so yeah. even in all that pain i was so at peace wow you, you it it may not make a lot of sense to to someone whose mind is very straight <laughs> yeah that you say that you are at peace when you're in pain yeah it may not make a lot of sense but in that moment i was still at enough peace that i knew okay this is so hard but it's a matter of time i'll get out of this and hit the road again mm. and you did and i did i did hit the road again after 10 days of being on oxygen i hit the road Whoa. again thanks be to god i'm still here Whoa. thanks be to god i can still communicate something that is yeah. that is going to help out someone yeah. there yeah you now have a message you now have a book out there and it's a it's a I do not know what to say but 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 your story is really seriously captivating. Normally we are told that uh, the life expectancy of a guy with sickle cell can you speak into that that it's not so high? Um that is as true as they can believe it. Okay, the heart again. The heart again. Yeah. As long as you believe that, it will only be that. Um I remember when I was in Sunday school about primary 6 primary 7 so my dad would take me around and show me that you see that person yeah they have the same condition like you yeah. how old are they she's like 60 years yeah I'm like who okay. that's good so it's not the end of the road for me yeah like every opportunity would get I don't know if he knew what he was doing or he didn't know yeah but that is what kept me going like oh mm-hmm. we so and so elder so and so in mm. church mm. uh so and so politic- politician so and so mm. um has the same condition like me mm. and what makes me give up mm. nothing to make me give up mm. i'm going to fight on mm. i'm going to war on the heart is basically critical in, in in all this very critical whatever you believe about this disease especially in the negative is going to affect you it's going negative. to affect you in the negative yeah Let me ask you this weird question. Please do. Have you ever been uh, like mad at God? Why me? You know, uh where are you God? Um at one point, yes, I was. Um I'd be like, but why me? Everyone else is okay. Mm. What happened? Mm. What happened? Mm. And then um until it reached a moment like I changed my perspective. Mhm. I changed my perspective. Mm. And I started looking at myself as the strong one. That sometimes when my siblings would get sick, I would tell God, you know, these ones can't handle really. <laughs> just, just bring it on. The flu, <laughs> malaria. I know. Yeah. And I just just bring it on. Me I can handle this. Just just let them be yeah. at peace. Yeah. Just let them be at peace. Wow. So, I changed my perspective. One one time there's there's a man who mentioned the statement it says that reality is nothing perception is everything the reality that you think you are going through uh-huh. it is nothing but what you perceive in that reality yeah what you perceive yeah i mean you are in pain but what do you perceive in that pain yeah do you perceive strength after the pain do you perceive that you are going to wake up get out of that bed and do things that everyone else is doing or even better than they're doing once again if you pity yourself it's over right it's over you have no hope that's why it's it's, it's got to be a warrior right one, here one one time i read a book by a certain man of god and the book title was persistence the winning code uh-huh. um I may not even be able to tell what was in the book. Yeah. But the title of the book alone stayed yeah. in me. Yeah. Persistence is the winning code. Mm. So, am I going to fight on or I'm going to give up? Mm. Mm. You've got to intentionally be intentional about your life. So you know that I have this situation, you know that I have this condition. Mhm. So what? You tell yourself so what? Mm-hmm. I'm going to live anyway. Mm-hmm. 
and you do sure and you happy you smile i see you smiling you're happy i smile all the way <laughs> <laughs> wow i i have learned to make myself happy yeah i have learned to celebrate myself i have learned to connect with god and thank him yeah because the bible says thanks be to god who causes us to triumph yeah you told me you sing do you sing oh yeah um i i do i do sing but i mean um my singing i, I even don't look at it as someone who is getting into the industry yeah to be popular to get known out there yeah but i mean what god has kept on the inside of you yeah what do you use it for yeah how can it be of help to someone out there exactly how can it be of help to someone out there mm, mm. are you singing so that you get public attention or are you singing so that you become of impact mm. one time i was speaking to someone and they were asking me what do you desire in life mm. in my heart what i cry out for is that i may be of impact mm. in the lives of people out there in the lives of millions out there yeah that's now what you call purpose exactly yeah i i do you feel like you're impacting yeah i i i really do feel like i am impacting especially in the past two years yeah um i think i have i have reached out to places that i had never thought i'd reach out to yeah and then the feedback that you get it is amazing yeah it's amazing um this this lady I'm keeping on referring to mm. the one that I, I gave a book mm. the other day mm. uh after our talk she was like thank you so much for this information mm. i have never heard about it mm. now i am going to make an informed decision in mm. case i'm to enter a relationship yeah i felt there was a soul saved from pain yeah and there are other things you're doing in terms of sensitizing the world about sickle cell yes. in Uganda especially yes yeah i i do that i i hold talks mm. talks like this uh, yeah. the other day uh, i was so privileged to be called by the busoga medical forum busoga yeah. health forum yeah yeah i saw that uh, i was so privileged to speak even to the medics out there mm. and 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 talk with them from from a warrior's perspective mm. how can you as a medic be of great help how can you as a medic mm. stand with a warrior out there mm. without them feeling so down mm. you, you, as a, the, the medical person has got to understand that the pain a warrior goes through of course they can't measure pain right sure. they can't measure pain mm-hmm. but it's only from hearing from you that they can understand that, that they can understand the what pain that the warrior goes through uh, actually i was talking to your friend uh, Patricia Opio yes yes she say that the pain that um a warrior goes through she was comparing it with childbirth mm-hmm. she said one of her friends who is a warrior mm-hmm. uh experienced childbirth mm-hmm. and she asked them so on a scale of 1 to 10 how is childbirth pain as compared to the warrior's pain mm-hmm. when they are going through a crisis mm-hmm. that lady said uh giving birth is nothing is a walk in the park as far as pain is concerned i i have had the same statement yeah. somewhere before yeah um we always say childbirth is so painful yeah but man if you get into a crisis mm. that you're not ready for mm. and i don't know how to describe it i don't yeah. know how to describe it yeah I hear you. So you're sensitizing people. Do you, is there an organization around this? Um I work I work with a number of people. Yeah. Um I work with uh, different organizations. Mm. I work with uh, friends, I work with uh, medical facilities mm. that whoever offers opportunity mm. out there. Um the other day I was I was invited by the Ministry of Health mm. to 
to talk uh, when they were commemorating the World Sickle Cell Day. Yeah, wh- when is the World Sickle Cell Day? It's always on the 19th of June. 19th of June. Yes. Okay. So for last year, I, I was invited as a warrior. It was such a privilege yeah. uh, to, to speak on the same platform with the Minister of Health yeah. in the country. Yeah. It was such a privilege. Yeah. Mm. Right. So the information you feel the information is going out. Yeah, the information a, a is going. A lot still need to be done. A lot still needs to be done. Yeah. I mean, each and everyone, each and everyone needs to take part in mm. this. And mm. I thank you for inviting me on yeah. this podcast. Yeah. This is this is what you've offered. Yeah. To the public out there. Yeah. And I feel like I don't know. Maybe it's too early to say this. But I feel like if you can help me in the month of June, because I normally do, I normally do uh, Wednesday's conversation. Okay. Every Wednesday there is a conversation going on on life signatures. Okay. But I feel like in the month of June we can take the whole month of June and just talk about sickle cell. Sure. So that if I can get four people that I can talk to mm-hmm. as far as sickle cell is concerned. Mm. Then uh, I think we'll do justice to that uh, World Sickle Cell Day. You can even make the, the the World Sickle Cell Month on life signatures. Wow! Uh, that particular month. Wow! So the ball is in your court. Help me get four guys, mm-hmm. maybe including you, if we can just sit together on a table and have a conversation about sickle cell, mm-hmm. uh, people's experiences, and so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it will go a long way to get this sensitization going on. This is very doable. All right. Mm-hmm. So we'll do it. Let's make it a date and let's uh, uh, our, our listeners wait for June so mm-hmm. that uh, this information can go out to them. Sure. Now, your songs. How many have you written? I have written quite a number of songs. Uh, currently, about six of them are produced already. Produced already. Which is your favorite? Uh, my favorite is a song called Omusana. Is it a uh, Luganda? It, it's a blend of Luganda English uh-huh. and Luo. Wow. Yeah. Okay.
uh, it doesn't have very many verses but uh, why is it my favorite because it basically describes it, it describes the warrior out there yeah uh, it has umsana means what umsana is uh, a luganda word to mean the sun the sun yes and uh, <laughs> yes and uh, that would be the literal interpretation of my name ocheng ah mm-hmm. ocheng in luo means the sun yeah cheng means sun cheng is sun yeah how do you write ocheng ocheng okay 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 yeah i, I see the other one that they write with yes, o c e n g e n g yes it's uh, the same it, it just depends on the, the the corridor that you're coming from <laughs> yeah but it's all it's all meaning the same thing Cheng means the sun. Mm-hmm. So your favorite song is the sun. We will sample you send me that song we'll sample on this sure. podcast for, sure. for our listeners to 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 listen to. Sure. Uh do you have an album? Um not yet ready out there. Yeah. But it should be out soon. But you release singles every now and then. Sure. Do you sell them or uh... um I I I have uh, held on to selling them so yeah. that I I could wait until the album or the EP is ready yeah and then I can sell it out as, okay, as one an album. piece okay yeah. I, I hear you mm. do you get to perform uh, these songs of yours at some point yes, in time yes yes i get to perform them mm. at different occasions mm. yeah all right so mm. if if people needed your your performance they can they can reach out to you and show sure. okay mm. all right this Well, so I think guys can reach out to you uh we will leave your number later on. Sure. Uh the guys can reach out to you and and so on. The book the book is currently available. Yeah, the book is available. We're just looking out for ways of putting them out in the stores. Yeah. Mm. Uh not yet at a restock. Not yet at a restock. Yeah. Um but uh we in touch yeah. with them. Yeah. Anytime. It should be there. Okay, okay. You you in you in the process of making it available. Yes, there. yes. All right. Mm. Okay, what kind of support have you received uh, as far as uh, sensitization is concerned probably from the government, NGOs, stuff like that? Um the first and maybe the most important support that everyone who is doing something to reach to the community needs mm. is people who believe in them. Yeah before you think about money before you think about anything yeah someone needs to believe in you someone needs to open for you the doors yeah yeah and i think i, I have seen that a lot yeah um from friends uh-huh. um and even the government people yeah. who work in um influential positions yeah. that are positions that you can take out mm um the information mm. and sickle cells to the mm. public mm. yeah okay is there a, an organized body of sorts around sickle cells whether in the ngo world or your own um i i work with uh, a number of people yeah what we are on is to is to document and uh, make it more legal yeah yeah, yeah uh, put yeah. things on paper yeah and push out there yeah. as a body yeah yeah but even while we pursue that process mm. the other already registered bodies that mm. we work with mm. we partner with mm. yeah um if you check uh SDG 17 mm. uh, it's partnership Mm. You, you can't achieve anything unless you partner with partner someone with people you're right yeah. you're absolutely right mm. okay so it's been a journey for you uh, quite an interesting journey and uh, can you say you've you've mastered the game <laughs> so to speak um can i say i have mastered the game yes and no yeah um yes because i can stay at peace yeah and be sure that tomorrow the sun will rise again yeah uh even in the mid of the night i can be sure that the sun will rise again and no because um every time a crisis comes yeah it may not be like the previous one it yeah. may be harder yeah. simpler yeah. or moderate yeah 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 i i hear you mm. i hear you 
but in your psyche you have the dna prepared to fight like a warrior sure that's what keeps you going mm-hmm. what is the last time you had a crisis today is uh, february the 9th 2022 Today is February the 9th 2022 mm. it de- it really depends when you're defining when you're saying a crisis it really depends on what kind of magnitude yeah. you mean a crisis that will get me hospitalized yeah. or yeah, something that, that I can manage that one uh, that one it's been oh a couple of months maybe three three months yeah okay maybe and the other ones you're talking about um I just took a pain reliever a while ago <laughs> today yeah you guy so you're saying that that one you can manage mm, that's my that's manageable so this management is basically nearly on a weekly daily basis on a weekly daily basis but uh, yeah um, before you even introduce in medicine uh, your mind your heart uh, the food that you're eating that's yeah. that's all management yeah mm. wow Wow. So let us talk to the guys who are new. Okay, not in the salary, but guys who are going through this and probably they don't have the information that you do have. Mm. But they are warriors. Uh, what are the things that you you would encourage them to do and not to do in order to manage the situation? Of course, you've already talked about the heart, mm-hmm. which is uh, absolutely critical. The heart taking care of the heart never stops you mm-hmm. never like graduate from taking care of the heart yeah. you keep doing it mm-hmm. but what are the other practical things that uh, you guys who are warriors with sickle cell what do you normally do um preventive especially if there is such a thing first and foremost i would uh, advise each and every one of them mm. to hold on to a greater power yeah the world is run by powers yeah life is run by powers yeah hold on to a greater power yeah and that greater power is only one yeah the supreme and almighty god yeah once you anchor your life on the greater power yeah your chances of survival are so up there yeah and then um the god we believe in uh, he has put several things at our disposal mm. in the name of food yeah natural solutions natural solutions mm. that food should be your first medicine before you swallow any tablet before you get any painkiller shot mm. one thing that fascinates me most mm maybe of all the creations of god mm. the one thing that fascinates me most is mm. water mm. um you realize you can live without power in your house mm. for water. a whole week yeah. but you can't live without water in the house for a day yeah yeah so use that water hydrate 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 i can say that a million times yeah 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 because that water carries minerals carries oxygen mm. that you that your body needs mm. so hydrate the more you the more you hydrate every time you hydrate you do your body a favor mm. yeah nice so believe in god lean into god mm-hmm. doesn't doesn't mean you become a fanatic no. right yeah and then number two your your diet your diet diet is important mm-hmm. number three, your water intake yeah yeah of course we had already talked about the heart mm-hmm. which uh, which goes on and on mm. probably also a support system a support system is very important mm. very very important you need to if you are in a place where your friends are not supportive mm. at least your family will not let you down mm. if your family is not supportive at least your friends will not let you down mm. yeah if if uh, you are in a community maybe a village where people are not supportive mm. maybe you'll go and get some solace in church mm. uh, if in church uh, there's no support mm. maybe in your community your local community there's some solace mm. there's always solace somewhere mm. yeah are you going to get married Oh, definitely. Looking forward to that. Definitely. Yeah. But you have to make sure it's not SS. 
Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. So, if guys wanted to get your book, mm. The Strength of a Warrior, Living Courageously with a Sickle Cell, I love that title. Mm. Where do they get this? Um, you could just give me a call. Yeah. What's your number? You can um, share your number. Zero seven eight three. Okay, that is plus two five six. Plus two five six seven eight three. seven eight three mm-hmm. eight three mm-hmm. eight three zero five. Very simple number. Plus mm-hmm. two five six mm-hmm. seven eight three mm-hmm. eight three eight three zero five. All right, they give you a call or they text or, you in or, case you or, don't or, pick. or you text me. It's the same number used on WhatsApp. Or you can send me an email. Yeah. At o c e n g. Yeah. Uh, Moses at gmail dot com. I say that again. Uh-huh. O c e n g Moses, M O S E S, yeah. at gmail.com. Right. Mm. So they write you and uh, you're going to afford them the information they need yeah. and also the book itself. How much is this book? Um, this book is uh, very cheap. Yeah. Um, about 50,000 shillings. 50,000 Ugandan, Ugandan shillings. shillings. That's uh, how many dollars? That's about. Those? 15 17 yeah 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 okay cool that's that's a good price yeah for this kind of information any words of encouragement because on life signatures we normally talk about purpose Mm -hmm. we talk about uh, resilience Mm. and we talk about productivity Mm. what would you say to someone in life to encourage them to be a resilient soul what would i say i would say Celebrate your pain because in every pain there is purpose hidden in there. Wow. And that's it. That's it. Yeah. It's only up to you to look out for the purpose. So whenever there is setbacks, whenever there is pain, whenever there is crisis, Mm -hmm. don't look at crisis at face value. Like I said earlier on, Mm -hmm. reality is nothing. Perception is everything. Yeah, there you go. So look deeper than what you see. Exactly. I don't know if you watched uh, Lion King uh, one and a half, mm. where Timon, uh, uh, not Timon, actually Timon, yes, is being told by Rafiki because mm. Timon is looking for a place. He's saying, if you want to go to know where you're going, you have to look beyond what you see. Yes, yes. That's perception mm. beyond what is is seen right now in your pain. Mm-hmm. In your setback, maybe mm. it's a heartbreak, uh, maybe a contract has been lost, yeah. maybe it's a rejection, mm-hmm. whatever it is, there's got to be perception in there. Uh, the, the perception that you have is what matters most than the reality. Yeah, I, I, I come from a village where some people use catapults, yeah. but uh, in order to hit your target, yeah. when you're using a catapult, yeah. you don't push it up front, <laughs> yeah. pull it back. back yeah. So, uh, when you talk about setback, yeah. that's the picture that comes in my head. Yeah. Sometimes there is that setback in your life, yeah. only that you can shoot as far as you can yeah. go. Yeah. Nice, nice. One last question. Is there a body out there that uh, is uh, in sickle cell and uh, maybe you need donations and so on and so forth and if people are touched by your story and they needed to donate so that they can be more awareness about this because what is needed in in your world is mm-hmm. not just the awareness it's yeah. also the, the, the warriors the 30,000 plus who are coming up every single year mm-hmm. they need uh, medical support insurance you know all that stuff is there a body that you guys have organized that helps in, in that way. Yeah, um, like I told you earlier on, mm-hmm. I have this group of people that I work with, mm-hmm. and uh, we first of all, even the proceeds that come from the book. Yeah, you seeing me wearing some sh- something. Yeah, it's, my God is a my wonder. God is a wonder. So my God is a wonder is uh, um, a title of one of my songs. Mm. So we made this. We started reaching out. But then we saw, okay, if we say we are going out there with only money that's coming from our pockets, mm. our, our paychecks, mm. we might be constrained. Mm. So what can we do to make sure that we we bring in some money? Mm. So this book is a tool that raises money. Mm. Um, what I'm wearing is a tool that raises mm. money. Mm. Um, the talks, mm. some, I mean, the people who are willing to pay for a talk, mm. 
yeah mm. if they pay that is money mm. uh, that goes out and helps a warrior mm. so basically if someone out there needed to donate and fund something and so on they can still reach you out yeah they can the, still reach out the email that you've given the email and the same number and the same number yeah and they will be well sure well ladies and gentlemen who we'll come to the close of this episode today it's been wonderful talking to a warrior i love the title of the book strength of a warrior please mm-hmm. reach out to him and get as many copies as you can for your family sensitize yourselves go out there and test yourselves it's uh, at medical whatever situations you are um, i mean uh, whatever region you are at go to the next medical place and ask for sickle cell test isn't it yeah it's called uh, hb electrophoresis yeah that name that he's just said ask for it and uh, know your status and let the medics explain to you especially if you're looking forward to get a baby uh, let the medics explain to you what needs to 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 happen mm-hmm. and uh, if you have the propensity of giving birth to a sick a sickla believe me you don't want to i'm not saying in a bad way but you don't want you remember when moses say that his father was tearing when he saw moses going through pain mm-hmm. you don't want to be in that situation so let us reduce the numbers the 30000 numbers i mean 30000 warrior cyclers coming up every single year without fail in uganda it's it's outrageous mm. but it's because of the information that is lacking so now that you've been told this information i encourage you to go and share this information with as many people as possible with many many forums even in your family forum there are people who have family groups yeah post this information there mm. put this uh, you know um, episode there encourage people to listen to this information is power yeah. going to save someone from pain well ladies and gentlemen until another time when we talk to someone else about something else today it has been about resilience and you've heard it from the horse's mouth it's all about the heart it's all about the perception until another time bye bye om sanna om sanna
Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.